I review a lot of red dots, and it's no secret I love my red dots. Now, with aging eyes, it's becoming you know more of a necessity than the need versus the want, if you know what I mean. It is also because it is so much quicker, easier, and most of the time more accurate than using the iron sights, you know, like on this M1A that I grew up with and, and started hunting with. Now, as time goes on, I'm becoming more and more particular with every every review what I'm looking for in my red dots. You know, I want it all. I want my cake and eat it too. I want the best QPC I can get, and, you know, and I assume you all are wanting the same thing. So what is QPC? Quality, performance, cost. This is kind of something that I've coined. You know, the quality is pretty self-explanatory. The performance, you know, how, how it looks on paper and how it looks on the internet when we're looking at it and stuff versus, you know, how it actually performs on the gun um, can be worlds apart. You know, so I'm looking for the quality and the performance, but then I'm also looking for the cost. You know, the best bang for the buck. Why pay more? then we have to. And yeah, a lot of times you get what you pay for, but then there's also times, you know, we can get QPC, quality performance at a low cost. I've reviewed a lot of their optics and they make some outstanding optics, guys, with some of the best glass in the business. Now, they're relatively new to the red dot scene and the Midas LE, it was nice. You know, I liked it. Um, it needed some changes. I actually noted all that in the review. Um, and I don't know if they actually took my review and made those specific changes, uh, but you can imagine just how happy I was to see all of those exact changes in the new Midas LE Gen 2. Now, I said with the Gen 1, I would love it if they had these changes. Well, they made them. So let's take a look and see if I love it. It is, it is frozen. Nice. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. When I was originally sent the Midas Gen 2, uh, I was waiting to put it on my PTR MP5. You know, I'm getting that SBR. I'm super excited. Now, while I've been waiting to get my MP5 back from the Smithy, you know, I got a hold of this Springfield M1A Scout, and it was love, guys. This looked like a marriage made in heaven. Uh, I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Before we get going, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech so you can see all the changes that they made and what this optic has to offer. Okay, it has the directions, lens cleaning cloth, etc. but basically it comes with the optic, the tool, and the battery. Now, I would just, I did want to show you the battery compartment. Guys, other optics companies, this is how you do the battery, okay? You got a tray. It makes it super easy. They've got a nice rubber gasket here, which we're going to put to the test. That's going to give us our IPX rating, okay? We put that in, and then we just screw these in, and that's the battery compartment, and I like it, okay? That is the best way to do it. I've torture tested a lot, this works the best, okay? Other than that, it's really simple. We've got our windage and elevation, okay? They got half MOA clicks. We've got the quick detach. Again, this is done right. It's solid. It's got that spring forward and clips there, so we have to pull that back, okay? We make adjustments on this side in the open, and then we have to turn this, 
okay, and this turns. Um, it says that there's an adjustment tool. Uh, I'm really not quite sure how this is supposed to work for this. Yeah, like that. That's one thing that I don't like that I would change. Um, have an Allen wrench fitting in here or something so I can just quickly and easily adjust that up or down. That's the only thing so far that I found that I would change. Okay, and then the plus or minus. And that's it, guys. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. It has all the features I'm looking for. Now, let's just see how it performs on this M1A. Uh, what we can do with it, you can see back in the distance, we're going to go out to hopefully 500 yards. We'll push it. We'll see what we can do. Non-magnified optic. Um, let's have some fun. And then I'm going to take it off. And of course, torture test it. Put it right back on, hopefully in the exact same spot in the exact same way, and see how it does. After all that, then, you determine for yourself what you think of the optic. Okay, so what I want to do now is I just want to get this zeroed at 50 yards. Um, I, I have great luck with doing that. I like zeroing at the 50, you know, sort of the, the battlefield zero. It works for me for you know, pretty much all calibers. I've got some Hornady match here, the 168 grain Amax. Special thanks to Hornady uh, for providing the ammo. So hopefully, you know, we're going to get as good of groups as we can get. And the idea is, is I'll zero it here at 50, and then that should put me pretty much spot on, relatively close at 300, and allow us to really have uh, a lot of flexibility between 50 and 400 yards or even 500 if we can reach out that far. So let's just uh, get her zeroed here and go from there. Okay, so that first group wasn't too bad. Uh, made a couple click adjustments. Uh, hopefully, you know, with a half MOA click, you know, we should be right on. Let's uh, see where we're at now. Oh, hey, all right. You know, there's a lot of controversy out there about seasoning and breaking in a barrel. I used to think, no, um, my experience is absolutely, uh, you know, I contacted, I've got a video out there, I contacted Bartline, Krieger, uh, Sheehan, you know, all of them, and they all recommend doing a barrel break-in and seasoning, and I do see a difference, um, you know, I'm about moderately way through, you know, past sort of that initial one shot, three shot, five shot, ten shot, um, and you are seeing the groups tighten as we go. Uh, let's just show you what we this did here. This is a here. sight picture that I'm getting at 50 yards uh, for the sight in. And, you know, and it's hard to tell sometimes with the camera looking down optics, but I can tell you that is probably the most crisp, clear, clean red dot circle I've seen. It, it really, I can't tell and I won't know till I'm editing. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's go check out the groups. Okay, very nice. Now, this was yesterday sighting in with some really old military surplus. I think Berdan primed. I think it's South Korean ammo, <laughs> really old. Anyway, this is this morning then. With the zero that I had from that, I switched over to the Hornady, the Amax. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, it's okay. I was really hoping kind of for a little bit better. But I had was just fresh out of a cleaning and a polishing so that's the first three shots um and now we're tightening down made an adjustment i'm going to make another adjustment maybe a couple more clicks to the right and hopefully we'll see that group shrink down and then once we got it where we want it then we're going to start banging on some steel at different distances and have some fun and show what this optic can Real do quick here is i'm making some adjustments you know one of the things that i really like on an optic is audible and palpable click adjustments. Um, I'm for the most part getting them on the top when I'm doing windage. I'm not really feeling and definitely not hearing 
the clicks, you know, that's, that's pretty minor. It, uh, it does make it easier for really fine tuning, having that palpable audible click. Okay. So I'd made a couple of clicks. I think I, I think I made about three clicks to the right, you know, was kind of having some difficulty hearing and feeling them. Um, came back over here because I had those original three off and that was the last three, you know, for right now, I'm pretty happy. I did do just now the one click to the left, and I think I'm going to call that good. We're going to start banging on some steel. This barrel really does need uh, some more seasoning. Some barrels need more than others, and you know my experience with the M1As is is they like a little extra seasoning. So let's start having some fun on some steel. Okay, so I just shot that last group, and take your hearing protection off. Okay. Get down really close and really pay attention, and you can. There is ever so slight, palpable, and audible click. you got to be really focused, which is great, though, because uh, the group that I just got, I, I wanted one click, and I did get it. So I, I stand corrected. Okay, it, it is palpable and audible, but you got to go really slow, and you got to pay really close attention. Okay, so I'm just going to start off here at 300. Not not the max that I think we can go, um, but but fairly challenging. You know, 100 is is going to be kind of a no-brainer. Let's just start off here and uh, see how we do. I, I I went too fast on that last one. I was getting a little little too ahead of myself. That's awesome, guys. Um, yeah, with with the sight picture, I mean, you can hardly see the target up there at three hundred. Um, let's do. Let's give four a try. Nice. That was impressive. Um, okay, let's just see how we can do here at 200 and 300 standing. Nice. Let's try three. Well, that's reaching. Nice. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing
If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30 day money back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There's some awesome recipes on there, good food, and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Nice. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, what was that? Two or three out of five at 300. Um, you know, even one out of five standing at 300 with a red dot works for me. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take this off and torture test it. So it's got those little drain holes there, which is kind of nice. All right, well, we're still on. All right. Let's just throw it in the freezer and see what happens. Okay, this is a really good solid torture test because we just took it out of the buckets. We've got water, you know, in little cracks and crevices. And then we're going to throw it in and freeze it solid. And this has caused a lot of failures and a lot of optics. Oh, nice. Still on. Um, it's frozen solid. Okay, just in case there's any question about it being frozen, um, it is It is frozen. Okay, we're going to have to actually let it thaw out before we can get it mounted and test it out. So yesterday, took it off, torture tested it, um, just got it back on this morning here, put it back on in the exact same spot. As far as I could tell, in the same way, and we're just going to reach up there at 300 yards and see, see if it kept zero, see how it does. Weren't hitting steel there at 300. Um, I just threw up a target here at 50. We'll go back and see where that's at. You know, sometimes taking it on and off, and maybe the drop really got the zero off. We'll find out. Okay, so took it off, torture tested it, put it right back on, and there's two shots. I love that. <laughs> okay, now it, it's hard to say. You know, that could have been, could have gotten it off the zero, jolted it a little bit. I mean, you know, look what we've got here, you know, and how it's on. Um, so then I made a couple of adjustments. I got a group of three. I made a couple more adjustments. <laughs> Check that out, guys. That rocks. Okay. That is awesome. Um, you know, as we're getting farther along and getting that barrel seasoned, um, you know, there you go. I'm, I might bang on some steel here, but as far as the optic goes, I'm calling that good. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I'm going to keep going on the rifle review and have some more fun. You might want to check that out. Nice. Ouch. Hot brass. Nice. Nice, guys. Four for four at four. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. This really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're on the range and we're getting some trigger time, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So, be an outstanding ambassador for the Second Amendment and be a safe and responsible gun owner.